Okay, one more video for this one. Uh, I have now selected Calypso Coral, and I am going to color the beak with that and the little feet. You may have to actually move your screen down to get the little feet. And if you accidentally uh, color a little of the shell, go back and select your very vanilla and kind of clean it up. And let's see, I colored the eyes with uh, Bermuda Bay. If you hover over these, it'll tell you what colors you're picking. There you go. Okay, then hit OK. Uh, now to color the chick yellow, I selected an egg. You know, I think what I'm going to do is, well, okay, I'll just put this in. We know it's going to be really big again. I'm going to have to size this back down. A little tiny. And I'm going to color this uh, Daffodil Delight. So we'll hit change color. This is going to get most of the little chick. It has little wings. We're going to have to use the free form. And again, oh good, I picked the right color. <laughs> okay, and let's try to match up uh, the size of this little guy. That looks about right. Okay, and we're going to send that backwards. I might have to do that. Oh, I was playing with the eggs while we, while we were gone. So, okay, let's go back over here to the layers palette because I'm doing something I don't want to do here. Let's put the little egg on the top. And we'll go down and get the rest of this little chick. Uh, where is he? Right there. Move that to the top. There we go. Now he's going to look a little better. Um, okay, so we're going to have to do a little bit of adjusting. Um, why don't we just make him a little bit bigger, I think. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, now for the little arms, what I did was use the freeform tool. So um, you have to add a brush layer again, similar to what we did for the April. Sorry, computer's a little slow. And we're going to size it down. And of course, if you want to move it, you've got to click out of it, have it turn gray, and then move it over your object. Okay. I think it needs to be a teeny bit wider. There we go. And again, I had to zoom in to do this part. So go ahead and get your, your zoom and slide over to where you are working and uh, click on this little guy, double click, and uh, what we want to do is change the color of the brush to Daffodil Delight. Okay, here we go. Hit OK. And yeah, this brush is pretty good. I can maybe make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and then we just want to color in these little arms enough so that it looks like. Now we don't want to put a drop shadow on this because otherwise you're going to be able to see where the arms are and where that little um, egg was. So in this case, you want to keep it flat. All right, so that's that's good. Now what we want to do is just group this whole thing together because we're going to make it smaller. 
So we want to select the freeform layer and then we want to select the chick. And go ahead and get that. Oops, I forgot to hit shift. Make sure you hold down shift. And we also want this uh, little egg. So I'm going to go over to layers palette so that I can hold shift and click that as well. And then we're going to move that back in place. And we're going to move the little arms behind the egg. Okay, now that you've got all of that clicked, hit Arrange Group. And you can tell that you did it right over on the Layers palette because all of a sudden he goes together. Now we can make him considerably smaller and stick him onto our little calendar. Now, you know, I'm going to move him to the side because I also wanted to show you how I did this back egg. I went ahead and filled in all the colors and everything. And what I want to do now is group everything together. So I'm just going to click on everything again, holding my shift key. I'm probably going to be able to get everything except for the egg again. So I'm going to have to move this egg up temporarily so I can click on that. Okay, and once I've got it clicked, the key thing is to get it behind all the rest of these elements. Okay, and then we're going to hit again, Arrange Group. And over here on the layers palette, you can see that it came all together, which is perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and rotate it like I did on the example. Okay, so once you've got that set, uh, we want to put these little eggs behind the grass. So um, we're going to drag them down. Where's my grass? probably way back here. Okay. So I'm going to put that behind. Oh, now we've got my clouds in front. So you're going to have to rearrange those as well. Um, do a little bit of regrouping. This is again, why it's important uh, not to lock your objects uh, because obviously you're going to have to do a little bit of rearranging at this point. Now we've got both of those and now we're going to want to just move these clouds as well back to just before that blue layer. Oh, where is it? It's right there. So go ahead and do all that. Move your clouds and then you can just size your chick down and you're done. So hopefully I won't run out of time, but I wanted to just say that just in case I did. There we go. And we kind of want him, I think, to the side a little bit. And I got it so that his little legs were down here by the April. Uh, okay, so I'll go ahead and fix my clouds too. Oh, whoops, that was the wrong one. computer is being super slow today. Don't know what it's doing. Okay, let me just draw all these clouds down. And I think I have one more. Come on, go back up. Here we go. And once you get them all down here, uh, I think this one needs to be in front. The darker one needs to be in front all the, of all the rest of them. And then you can kind of or play with the placement. So let's let's look at this whole thing. It's looking pretty good. We probably just want to tilt this. Whoops. Not quite sure what that's doing. Oh. Tilted it a whole bunch. <laughs> okay, that's when you want to say edit undo. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, anyway, 